there's some evidence that there's, uh, especially in these uh, close to these mining sites, there are some vulnerable species which are affected. But we also have to say that um, there's also probably some effect of uh, uh, the agriculture activities. So that is related to this case study. I don't think in this stage we will see uh, it's, it's quite much, but we will see a severe effect. <coughs> I think I, I can agree with what uh, he already uh, mentioned to his introduction. I'm also more concerned for the future. Uh, perhaps it's also like phosphate uh, that we have. Uh, in, in our regions that uh, some of the problems only start to occur five or ten years later. I think the another specialist next to you probably knows much more about that. Uh, but also I think the most concern is when the activities stop, uh, I think there should be some guarantees for remediation uh, made. So to show you another example uh, where you more clearly see the effect of, uh, of gold mining, uh, we move to uh, Tanzania. It's a study, uh, a PhD study made for four years under the promotorship of uh, Professor Jans, who is an ecotoxicologist in, uh, uh, in our laboratory. Um, it's actually there not the uh, open cast mining, but actually related to small scale uh, mining, uh, where there are some direct uh, yeah, health related issues uh, related to uh, uh, the mercury. Uh, during the evaporation uh, in particular, uh, but also there's an enormous effect on the, uh, the whole water uh, system. And there you have then a second health risk, uh, not related to what they breathe in as air that is contaminated, but actually what they are eating. So the study was actually at two levels. They were investigating to what extent there is an increased level of mercury in the fish uh, community uh, in, the, in the lake uh, that is receiving that, uh, that water uh, from these areas. Uh, and then we also, via some questionnaires, we investigated how much of this feed the fish is actually eaten and is there actually a risk for the human health uh, based on how much fish in the concentration of the uh, contaminants uh, in the fish. So it's uh, related to uh, the Victoria Lake, perhaps you, you know it. So it will not only have a local effect on the health, but also uh, because of this contamination, the export of fish is also uh, become, uh, becoming impossible uh, because of yeah, uh, rules for uh, import, like in Europe, uh, concerning contaminants. So it was uh, done both at the ecosystem level and also at the uh, human population level, local human populations, uh, where we looked for how much fish is eaten. And here you see the uh, mercury uh, levels and the different types of uh, typical fish which are there uh, produced in that, uh, in that lake. You see in particular in catfish, in albacores and tilapia, uh, which are typically eaten there. That is, has a, a serious consequence for the uh, amount of uh, mercury levels in, this, uh, in these fish species. But then if you translate it to how much people are eating, so we, we looked at the different um, times, the frequencies that uh, people are eating fish, um, and then you see that once they are here, it's two days or three days, that for several types of fish that they might eat, that they actually have actually a risk for, uh, yeah, according to the World Health Organization, <coughs> that they might have a serious health risk uh, related to this. So there you see a direct effect of this mining on how it translates to the uh, to the food web, the human food web, and also how it might affect the uh, yeah the, the health of people in general. So here uh, the, the direct and indirect effect of, of gold mining. Uh, I think I, I show that there's uh, yeah some serious concern about it when people are directly working in these conditions or actually are eating the food it's actually affected by the uh, activities but uh, like also mentioned in the previous presentation also uh, at the start of my presentation these social economic aspects are also very important and for instance the fact that the fish cannot be exported anymore is also something that is uh, costing money uh, nevertheless uh, i'm not so optimistic when uh, although we have a good PhD student working on these ecosystem services we looked for instance in flowers uh, related to uh, food production um, and we compared based on different types of ecosystem services uh, if we would have a more forested area in Flanders uh, and we would look at what kind of uh, 
uh, lower income that would be related to food production in, in Flanders, to what extent is it compensated by yeah, the, the positive effect on the climate, uh, recreation and so on, that actually in our studies based on different policies, that we do not get a kind of overcompensation for it, for the extra forestation. So I, I think it's a very difficult debate. Um, so uh, nevertheless, I, I think we have to be uh, trying to prevent uh, health issues uh, and perhaps it has to be go beyond the economic level and think more about social aspects like uh, health and that we are living to, uh, together in a happy way. So, as conclusions, so impacts uh, related to the, the case in Peru, I think it can be in particular in, in the longer run uh, playing a role. Uh, important is that there might be some indirect consequences uh, related to some ecosystem service that become uh, yeah, impossible and it has also very negative uh, eco uh, 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 consequence, economic consequences uh, which are now underestimated. Uh, and yeah, perhaps I'm a bit more optimistic that there might be uh, some better prevention technologies available in the future. I think one of the students is, I think you are doing some work on it. So perhaps uh, uh, technology might be part of the solution. Uh, but I think also proper legislation and in particular proper implementation of the legislation and also providing information to many people uh, is very crucial. I think there, Katapa is doing a, playing a very good role. So thank you very much for this and also thank you very much for listening.